I've been to multiple batting cages just to kind of help my swing, but not one that tells me how. 12-year-old Avery Smays and 11-year-old Luis Rivero excitedly stepped to the plate. But this is about more than just swinging a bat. I have absolutely no baseball background. I've never played in any of organized baseball, but I understand that players seem to look and do certain things. Here in the batting lab, principal data scientist Jared Dean and his team at SAS are quietly hoping to get kids to a different base to get young minds interested in data. The point of the SAS batting lab is to help kids love data as much as they love baseball and softball. SAS is targeting kids between ages 10 to 14. It's hoped merging sport with data literacy leads to a new understanding of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. It gives us like diagrams and charts and graphs to show us what part of our swing has the most room for improvement. Ideally, you want your hands to stay ahead of your back elbow. As we saw, it's working. Yeah, I would say that they are tricking me. Just do some math a little bit. Batting cage has helped me a lot because I had this game and I hit a double and I didn't even try. I probably could have gone over the fence if I actually tried. I think this cage has definitely helped me improve on the softball field, not only like with my timing and hitting the ball, but also with my confidence. To create the cage, SAS worked with coaches and players from North Carolina State University's baseball and softball teams. What makes a good swing and what we're looking for is athleticism. Athleticism, balance, coordination, specifically to a baseball swing is, is balance and rhythm and timing. After analyzing thousands of players' swings, SAS's data teams discovered at bat, there's one key metric of success, exit velocity. In kids speak, how hard the ball is hit. Every player in the program has improved their maximum velocity. Most are in that 10 to 15% improvement range over the first six sessions. Equipped with cameras and thousands of sensors, the batter's box monitors how a person's weight moves during a swing and detects when the ball is hit. It's about 50,000 data points in all per swing. And then we send that off and we compare it to those hundreds or thousands of swings that we had collected prior, and we look for deviations. The goal, a better swing, but also the kids learn how analytical skills and data can be applied to sports and beyond. We don't need students to grow up to be data scientists. We need them to be data believers, people who believe that if they're going to strategically solve a problem, that data is a component of that. The folks at SAS say the batting lab is already a home run. The proof? Young Avery, who now sees how STEM fits into just about everything, even her dreams of being a veterinarian. Data kind of ties into just doing everything right as a vet. But for now, she'll keep her eye on the ball and swing for the fences. So you don't have to be in North Carolina at the batting cage to pick up some of these skills because they've actually put this playbook online so kids can go online and practice this and pick up some analytical skills. And guys, who knows, playing a game may actually lead to the next sure. rocket scientist. That's cool. Well, that's what's know. so cool when you make it fun. You know, and as I played softball since I was five years old, yeah. and, you know, as a meteorologist, it's like math and science and sports. It's, well, I love this together. idea. This is fantastic. It's great. Thanks, Thanks Carrie. Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.